Hey, it's some old guy coding again today, and I want to just update you with some of the changes I've made on here since our last wiring video. I went ahead and got a, uh, I think it's like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half hose. It came with a vac, one of the vacuum cleaners hooked up here. I've got a little bit of a port that goes through down there. It's not screwed down or anything, but uh, I've got a little tie wrap so the thing doesn't fall down through any further. And of course, here's the wiring going down through the board uh, to the controller down there. I got to clip that lead, uh, clip that tail off there, of course. That uh, tie wrap keeps it from falling down through there. Um, you know, my messy wiring here, of course, with all the circuitry. <clears throat> I'm sure you can do a much better job. Uh, I had a, a holder for the display, but I decided just to throw a couple of magnets on there. Eventually I had to super glue this one on. I uh, might have to do that one this one too. It's got some sticky foam back there, but it tends to pull off, so we may have to look at that in the future. And what else? We've got just the uh, the router is just connected to a uh, outlet strip under there. I might put an actual outlet under the table at some point. One thing I had to change here recently is part right here for the uh, end stop. Um, I made it a little bit different so it leans a little bit more, leans in a little bit more to get a better contact. Let's see if we get a picture of that. To get a better contact with that roller down there. Let's see if I can. So yeah, that, uh, that part lines up better with the bracket here as before it was hanging over the edge a little bit. So update upload those updates to uh, Thingiverse. Uh, so, uh, the uh, solid state relays are in there and working. I'm going to show you underneath the messy table here. Um, I've got a, a port down here, right there, um, where that hose comes into from the bottom. It just slides in in the center. It was a little loose on that uh, hose. I had a little tape around to snug it up. But then I can just take my uh, vacuum cleaner hose, my shop vac hose out here and just pop it right on there when I want or take it off if I want to clean the table with it. There we go. Pushes right on there. So let's talk about um, getting this guy, uh, the zeros for the z-axis and the zeros for the x-axis uh, lined up so that everything is square. I did this once before, but uh, the video came out really blurry. Apparently it was focused on something else down here. So we'll just do it again. The first thing I want to tell you about is this. This is, seems like uh, about the best bet uh, that I've found at this point to, to uh, uh, line everything up. So uh, this is a uh, depth gauge or a bit stick out thing for your router where you can measure how far your router bit is sticking out. Uh, if we just loosen this guy up, Pop them over over on one side here, whoops, and get it so that it's sitting on the uh, table. <clears throat> Might have to lower your uh, Z a little bit here. Tighten her down, take a look at the value, and then go over on this side and do the same sort of thing. <coughs> and compare the two values and figure out which side is higher or lower. Then you can adjust the, uh, the screws that control the end stops on whichever side you need to and then do a Z home and let it happen all again and then remeasure again. And uh, that's the approach that I finally took in the end that seemed to work the best. I tried putting a caliper on here, just a regular, uh, regular caliper, and I could never tell if I really had it straight up and down or not, so the measuring was really difficult. Um, to, to determine whether it's you know me or something else. Where this, you know, you can just plop her on there and then uh, loosen her up and uh, take the measurement. So pretty easy. Whoop, whoop, come here, you. So just try it on both sides to figure figure out which side you want to raise or lower, adjust the uh, the Z end stops. Another thought that I had was this guy here, and this is just a, a cheap little. Uh, uh, food scale or some sort of scale I picked up at a, you know, an expensive store. The thought was that I'd extend the bit a little bit down here and bring it down to a known height and see which side with the bit over here or the bit over here, uh, which one applied more pressure or less pressure and make adjustments that way. That was just way too fiddly and it just didn't, didn't work at all. It just wasn't uh, 
you have to be really patient to do that. So, so far, uh, I like I like this solution. You know, you could probably come up with something to measure underneath if you had uh, like a uh, a measuring block that was a set value. You know, stick it over on one side, then the other, and adjust as necessary to get it to to match with the right amount of friction underneath it. Um, you know, how we see fit. On the other hand, on the um, long axis um, end stops, I uh, eventually, I don't know if you can see this, yeah. What I ended up doing is drawing a bunch of uh, 100 uh, millimeter squares on wood, one after another, and then taking a pair of calipers and measuring from opposite corners on that given square, one at a time. And um, Whichever side measured longer, I would uh, adjust. So let's say I let's see if we can see that on the screen. Let's take um, let's take this one right here. So say this measurement was longer than this measurement, then that means this end is sticking out further than this end. So you would adjust um, that set screw back and this end stop screw forward or how whichever way you want to go and then you do it again so you kind of tweaked it into the point where you're happy with it now mine isn't a hundred percent you know but it's, it's pretty close and that's probably one of those things like this uh, it's probably one of those measurements the uh, z height you might want to do periodically too i know it's just here demonstrating this that this doesn't seem to be quite the same height at this point, yeah, it's, it needs to be readjusted. But it's just a matter of taking the measurements, making adjustment on the little uh, height screws, uh, re-zeroing the axis, and then you know measuring again. So, for instance, yeah. So that's it there. I think that covers uh, the areas that I kind of had a, a blurry film on. Um, so if you have any questions, certainly let me know. If you have some better ideas for doing this sort of thing, uh, certainly share that with everyone. I'd be interested in hearing uh, some other ideas uh, if you have something better. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.